Ten months ago, Rwanda's new government was triumphant. The Tutsis had survived the genocide and risen to power. Now, President Pastor Vizimungu has visited Gebeho camp. The massacre carried out by his Tutsi-dominated army last weekend has been condemned worldwide. Vizimungu announced an international inquiry. About 80,000 Hutu refugees were at the camp when soldiers opened fire. Vizimungu insists only 300 were killed. The UN puts the toll from the shooting and stampede that followed at at least 2,000. With the official party present, graves were exhumed. 41 went in there. Uh, most of them having been uh, hit either by bullet or fragments from grenades. Mm -hmm. There were a few machete injuries, but not many. Mm -hmm. There was 41 in that place. I, 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 yes. As those left here endure the squalor, too frightened to go home, thousands of their menfolk are in jail in Kigali awaiting trial over last year's genocide. Human rights workers say unless the government deals equally firmly with those behind the killings at Kibeho, there'll be no justice and the wounds of war will never heal.